Would you say that the black books are technically like a form of Oblivion Gate? Like, are, are they an Oblivion Gate that is uniquely specific to Hermaeus Mora and Apocrypha? I feel like that's that's the case, right? I don't know if it ever is fully revealed that way, but it sure seems that way, right? I'm taking those just in case. But yeah, the the one for Sheogorath was like the three heads, very fitting, right? They're different uh, facets of Sheogorath's like mental state, so to speak. And this, the, the cool book and all that. If anything, it kind of makes you think like... <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck was going on with the Deadlands and Mirren's take on? Yo, your cool, like, portal to Oblivion is the letter O? Are you fucking serious? <laughs>
right? They could they could totally do that, but they could be super like, yeah, what happened there was fucked up. It was a prophecy, but it was a bad one. It was a warning. Sure, the the tribunal the tribunal got up to some bad shit, but they were ultimately a good thing for us, right? My god, holy shit, I could honestly so easily see that, right? And you could have a, another political faction vying for control or whatever. Good god. Let's go over here, check this out. I mean, I guess in some ways, it's, it's not Dunmer-focused, right? But in many ways, it is, that is exactly like the modus operandi of the Thalmor, which is part of what makes them so compelling. Right? Except, with the Thalmor, it's significantly more nuanced, whereas, like, with, if, if there were, like, Dunmer who wanted, who were still pro-tribunal, like, the tribunal were, were, except maybe for Sothasil, because we just don't know enough beyond ESO, uh, especially Vivek and, and definitely Amalexia. They were both really shitty. Like, they were <laughs> objectively a bad thing for people. <laughs> okay. Let's go on over here. Eat all this. Great. Whereas the points that the Thalmor make, the Thalmor have, like, I don't know. I would say the Thalmor have valid takes on on Talos, or especially who Talos was before becoming Talos. But their methods are incredibly, objectively fucked up. Right. Whereas, the inverse, I would say, would be true in, in this hypothetical situation. Right. It's just a world of possibilities. All exciting. Okay. Let's head on out of here. Have we checked everything? Did we go through all these? I think we did. Didn't we? We fully went through them all? Uh, I got some wheat. I'll take it. Anything else here of interest? Barrels of carrots. I'll just eat them. Potatoes. Okay. Loads of bone meal. In fact, maybe I should keep it there? I don't know. Have we read the Red Year? Was that in the core game of Skyrim? I'm not sure. I'm going to take it. I don't know. Fuck, it's nice to be able to go back to read books I know for sure I haven't read without having to check my my logs and all that. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> you one of the Ashlanders, Elder? Oh. I was. <gasps> I wandered the wastes of Vardenfell, carrying the message of the reclamations from tribe to tribe. Don't you mean the anticipation? We no longer use that name, for them. They have reclaimed their identity and no longer represent the patronage of the False Tribunal. You'll do well to remember that next time, attendant. Of course, Elder. Please forgive me. Fuck, I love that. Okay. Let's see over here. Like, I love all the fuck- like, I, I fucking love all the new Dunmer shit. I love all the- all the progress of- of, like, world-building storytelling that went on with them in Skyrim. It's so good, I think. Probably the only thing that I don't like, and it's understandable, like we've said before, is that they got rid of the old Vardenfell accent, and it's exclusive only to one character now. Which, like I said, if you don't... If you're worried about, like, your voice actor's, you know, throats and all that, <laughs> that's fair. That's understandable. Excuse me, but the temple is for followers of our faith alone. Outsiders aren't welcome here. I'll have you know I'm the champion of Azura. Mafala? I'm not sure. Boethia? Elder not yet. Elder Arthroloth <laughs> is grooming me to be his eventual replacement. Soon I'll be running the temple my way. That sounds like a threat. Okay. Though our spirits may be low and dangerous. Also, here's a question. With what Othraloth said earlier, is Othraloth in Morrowind? The name is kind of familiar, but I'm not sure. Lurks beyond the light. 
I am confident that they will never abandon us again. Dude, Elder Othrolos owns ass. All right. Hey. The reclamations herald oh, the dawn of a new age and the downfall of the false tribunal. The temple's tomb has been cleansed. Spirits be praised. I'm hoping you didn't suffer much at the hands of those foul beings. Please, accept this as a token of my thanks. Cool. 2,000. Neat. I have to wonder how many Ashlanders survived the Red Year. I can't imagine many. Right? Because even if they in some way had some sort of clairvoyant warning about the Red Year coming and to, like, get the fuck out, what options do they have? Right? Because they don't... I would assume they wouldn't have the resources necessary to leave Vardenfell. Right? They wouldn't be able to pay for the entire group to get passage off of the island. Right? They would... I could very easily see them getting screwed over in that way. I'm not sure. Okay. Let us check our quest log here. What should we... Oh, right. We should definitely inspect this Nordic jewelry business while we're here. It was confirmed that this is part of the Creation Club Captain business Venice and all that. Captain how valuable oh. you've become to the Redoran Guard. The Counselor Listen and I this. appreciate your assistance. I'm glad to lend a hand. You must be using quite a bit of your raw materials repairing their weapons and armor. I'm sorry we can't compensate you. Not to worry, Adro. I'll recover my losses in due time. Huh. <laughs> okay. Damn, Ash. Okay, let's head on over here. Very good. Check this thing out. But yeah, like I said, folks wrote in and confirmed. This is, in fact, Creation Club stuff. Okay, here we are. Good. Huggin' Ice Shapers Notebook. It's probably... Hugin or something like that. Should we take anything off of you? Oh, I'll take this food. I don't need to eat it yet, but I'll take it. Oh shit, you got three units of Stalrum on you. Whoa! Okay. Let's read this thing real quick. Oh, look, it's only partially legible. Oh, wow! Look, they got like a new trick or whatever. Huh! Finding naturally occurring raw pieces of a suitable size shape is unlikely... Illegible. Uh, per... I'm not sure. It, it looks like it would say perhaps, but... Uh, perhaps there are some alternative methods I have not yet explored. I quickly discovered grinding with traditional methods is nearly impossible. But this material fascinates me. I am determined to incorporate it into my work. Something, it's illegible... Shattering large chunks with an application of violent force after repeated bouts of extreme heating and cooling. Note, magical methods are the most viable. Yields far more material to select from. In addition, the shards are more regular in shape than the debris left by a pickaxe. The amount of waste is disappointing, but the cost may be offset. Something collect pieces for something fee. Further shaping by using a second appropriately sized piece of stall rim yields particularly satisfactory results. Isn't this similar to, like, cutting diamonds? Isn't that what this is very similar to? Like, isn't that the ideal way to cut a diamond is to use another diamond that's been, like, made sharp? Anyway, the product is quite rough, but has a sort of naturalistic appeal. A few something, some... Illegible. Set in Quicksilver with a traditional Nordic motif. Perfection. With a bit of hired help, I have adequate materials to reproduce the design and distribute to the mainland. I will finally make a name for myself. Neat. Okay. Well, I mean, terrible for this person, but... You know. Poor... Hugin. Nobody knew thee. Okay. Well, now we have a thing to craft a piece of it. Should we do that? 
I don't know. I guess why not? I'm sure we've got all the materials out of that satchel. What's the coolest piece? Maybe this will become like our new go-to piece of equipment after we enchant it and all that. Let's see what we can do here. How about... Hmm. Well, it'll probably be an amulet or a ring. Because I don't see myself getting rid of our current... What do you call it? Ethereum? Circlet. Yeah, let's go with the amulet. It looks nice. I had no idea that there were stallrim in these things. Or I could save the stallrim that I found. Eh, we'll do this. There we go. I'll make another one. Because we found three pieces in there, right? Cool. Okay. Completed. Hey, neat. Alright, I'll take some of that scathe crow. Very good. Alright, we need to find a place to snooze. Let's go get a room for the night at the inn, I think. Oops. I keep mixing up the... <laughs> which one is and is this not the inn. This is House Redoran territory. You do well to remember that. Hmm. Okay. God, I wish they had... They had, like, dialogue that directly referenced some of the regular guard callouts from Morrowind. Which were just, like, you know, regular callouts as well. They, were, they weren't necessarily specific to guards, I think. Unless they were ordinators, right? If I remember Welcome correctly. Welcome to the Wretching Netch Corner Club. Home of a finest Sue Jammer that will ever grace your lips. Alright. Welcome to the Wretching Netch, Outlander. What can I get you? Did I never actually ask you about this shit? Your inn has an unusual name. There's actually a funny story behind the name, friend. A few years ago, I was walking down by the docks, and I noticed a Dunmer staggering along with a bottle of Sujama in hand. He was one of my patrons and liked to drink heavily, so I wasn't exactly surprised. Okay, yeah, that doesn't sound unusual. Ah, but you see, this particular Dunmer was as naked as the day he was born, and singing badly at the top of his lungs. Awesome. As I'm watching this spectacle, a Netch floats over the bulwark towards him. The man looks straight up at the Netch, yells, Have a drink, and tosses the bottle. And it never hit the ground. Shut the fuck up. What did the Netch do? Well, the bottle broke on the Netch, uh. and it must have swallowed its contents because it started floating sort of tilted. Finally, it stopped and began to quiver. A few moments later, the foulest liquid to ever assail your nostrils spewed from its maw. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> I've seen plenty of drunks in me day. And I'll tell you right now, that niche was sick. Sick! Fucking sick, man! Now I get it. Also, I thought it was gonna be funny, like, a, like some kind of beer commercial. <laughs> he throws one up to him. <laughs> And then, like, some Dunmer tune starts playing, like, grab yourself a cold one. And then the Netch, like, clinks uh, a, a bottle of Sujama with the drunk guy, and they both wink at the camera. <laughs> it shows him, like, sitting on a beach, like, in cots or in a hammock, drinking Sujama together. <laughs> All right, now I get it. I get it. True story, friend. True story. Have you heard any rumors lately? Heard that Reeklings got hold of Thursk Meadol. Oh no! Forced the Nords who live there to move to a camp nearby. Wow! Jeez, that is terrible. Okay, well, I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Very well. I'll show you to your room. Like I think I remember way. where it's at now. Oh fuck, do I? Oh no, I don't. <laughs> is it? No, that that can't be it, can it? Is this? Oh, shit. I work for no. Mogul. You got a problem? Oh God! Talk to him. Oh, it's down here. Okay. All right. Is it this one? Oh yeah. <laughs> got it on the first try. Okay. Let's go for six hours. That should be fine. Very good. Oh, you know what? We should read the black book that we got. Fuck! I almost forgot again. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's munch on some food. Here we are. Okay, hope you don't Let mind I, uh, else you need. I read this cool book inside of your inn. I hope hope you don't mind this. <laughs> it's gonna get a little weird. Okay, here we go. And where is it at? Oh, it's under books, of course. Of course it is. Okay. Black book, waking dream. Oh, it's already listed as us having read it because of the one time. 
Ah, now let's look at the fun design on the front just as well. Cool. Okay, I love that. Okay, good. Waking dream. Oh, what? What? Huh? What? Uh, why I don't can't I think that is why? Oh no! <laughs> okay, good. Oh, did you see that? We don't get hungry or anything here. We don't get hungry, cold, or anything. Oh, look, and I have three gold. Oh, no, Freya is gone! <gasps> oh, shit, I hope I don't find anything I need here. Okay. Let's see, what is my current buff, though? Fortify Persuasion? That can't be it, can it? From the Gift of Charity? I mean, I guess it could be. It is about to run out. Yeah, I don't know what else it would be. It's probably it. Okay, cool. But yeah, this is the book um, that took us here before when we saw Mirak for the first time in person. Very neat. Oh, look. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Of course there's a load of books in this place. Oh, fuck. Okay, we need to take these. I'm almost positive we have read changed ones. In Bone Part 1, we have definitely read. Because I very explicitly remember it being a cool read. Look at this. Oh shit. Where'd it go? Man. I love what they did with this. This is such a cool idea. Okay. Let's go on over here. Continue to look around. Just sift through a bunch of stuff. Oh, look at that. Nasty. Even the water looks extra, like... It looks like oil, doesn't it? So cool. Oh, and look. Oh, they put the Aurora effect to use here as well. Clever. Okay. Anything else of interest? Nah. I don't f exactly remember, like, what the hell happens as we go through this. Are we, like, not allowed to progress to a certain area? Oh, look. Wow, a font of magicka. I didn't know that these were in here. Oh, my God, I never knew this. Wow, it's just like old times, huh? Oh, look, it shrinks every time I do it. Oh, wow. Okay, let's check out this one. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. Oh, so neat. Okay, there we go. I wonder what language that is, what text. I know you, champion. The Agma in fame was only the beginning. Ah. This is Apocrypha, where all knowledge is hoarded. Sate your thirst for knowledge in the endless stacks of my library. If you tire of the search, read your book again to return to your mortal life. For a time, the lure of Apocrypha will call you back. It is pure fate. Oh, really? Huh. What does that mean? Is that like foreshadowing as to the fate for real of... of the last Dragonborn? Or does it mean simply mean like the through line of this DLC? Maybe that's what it means. Though, I don't know. I guess you could interpret it the other way. Nonetheless, really fucking cool. Finally, it's revealed that this is all like, oh shit. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, really cool. <laughs> it's revealed that this is all to do with Hermaeus Mora and that this is like a, a plane of, a Daedric plane of oblivion. Apocrypha. So fucking cool, right? What a cool interpretation of it. Or, or should I say, what a cool reading. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Right, yes, of course. Look, this one's already weak. Should I steal their soul? Yeah, I should. Okay, cool. Awesome. Yeah, and I love as well 
like the the cool way that you enter this like it are technically would you say that the black books are technically like a form of oblivion gate like are, are they an oblivion gate that is uniquely specific to hermaeus mora and apocrypha i feel like that's that's the case right i don't know if it ever is fully revealed that way but it sure seems that way right seems awesome as hell and you know like how everyone had like their own sort of oblivion gate or whatever right like um Sheogorath for what do you call it DLC for the Shivering Isles I think we've read all of these well we, we clearly haven't opened the poison song actually maybe I'll take that maybe we haven't read that one right <laughs> actually <laughs> yeah I don't know okay I'm taking those just in case but yeah the the one for Shergorath was like the three heads, very fitting, right? They're different uh, facets of Shergorath's like mental state, so to speak. And this, the the cool book and all that. If anything, it kind of makes you think like <laughs> like what the fuck was going on with the Deadlands appearance take on? Yo, your cool like portal to Oblivion is the letter O. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? <laughs> what an uncool thing! How unbelievably fucking bad! <laughs> but honestly, kind of kind of on brand, I would say. <laughs> Good god. Well, at least on brand for my my interpretation of Maroon's take on. Okay. Well, I've, I've always kind of read as a bit of a dumbass. <laughs> Okay. I don't know if that's an accurate read, but it's always been my read. Oh yeah, you get spell tones here too. Wow, wow, wow. Look at these dudes going around. Okay, good. Like, for real. You don't think about it so much with those Oblivion Gates. But if you're a Daedra... They must be stupid as shit. It's really just a giant letter O for Oblivion. <laughs> Are you fucking for real? Like, could you imagine Old Lord Dagon shows up with that shit? It's <laughs> just like, yeah, you're gonna go through all these. You're gonna come out on the other end. It's a giant letter O. You know, for Oblivion. <laughs> fucking great, I know. <laughs> you're gonna love this shit. <laughs> The Apprentice's Assistant. I don't know if I read that one. 16 Accords of Madness? Oh, shit. Speaking of the Shivering Isles... Huh. I'm pretty sure... Like, there wasn't the complete anthology in the Shivering Isles. I'm assuming this is one of them. This isn't, like, a new one. We'll double check. Okay. Let's go on over here. Anything else? Take boneless limbs. On Apocrypha, boneless limbs added. Okay. Can we ever actually read the black books and read what they have to say, or do we always just, like, get yoinked inside? I don't know. How far does this shit go? Oh, wait. Did I check this? Yeah, I did. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, here we are. Neat. Alright. And yeah, of course, this is like very... Very much within the understanding of like Planes of Oblivion, right? Because they always have... There's a specific name for what it is. But they always have like these islands, I guess you would call them? Surrounded by some sort of liquid. A body of liquid. Right, so then for for the Deadlands, it was I think it was meant to be lava, but it kind of looked like jelly jam. <laughs> but here, it's meant to be this like nasty, viscous-looking oil. In the Shivering Isles, it was that it was the special water or whatever it was called. <laughs> it had a specific name there too, I think. Open Chapter Three. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. Anything else good here? This wasn't like the one I was supposed to come to at the very end or something, huh? No. Right? 
Shit, I, I guess I don't know. <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh, I'm getting smacked out. Good. We can stun him, but we can't knock him. Good. Get some of that going on. Run you through. Good. Get this. Great. Okay, how about you? What have you got? Glories and Laments. We have definitely read that in Morrowind. We'll mark it as red, I guess, in here. That book was all over the place in Morrowind Land. Oh gosh. Oh jeez. Okay. Let's head on over here. Should I grab some of this? There we go. Good. Okay. Another pod here. Oh wow, some Daedric mail. Hanging Gardens, we've definitely read that. Poison Song, I'm really not sure. The Guardian and the Traitor, I don't think I've ever read that anywhere. Well, I guess we should mark Hanging Gardens as red. Okay, over here, got some Ink Wells. Soul Gem, Scroll of Fast Healing, Song of the Alchemists. Definitely read that. Written by Mirabar Sul, right? Yeah! Hell yeah. Fuck, I can't believe I remembered that. <laughs> Delving pincers. Hmm, mine now. Little pod here. Dwarves, Volume 2. Nerevar at Red Mountain. The Posting of the Hunt. Pretty sure we've read both of these. Okay. I'll take that. Very good. Okay. Anything else here? Here's a question. Do you think... Like, you know, the Mysterium Xarxes. Isn't that specific to Lord Dagon? Isn't that, like, specifically an artifact tied... Not just to a plane of oblivion... Well, just any plane of oblivion whatsoever. It's specifically tied to... Mehrun's Dagon, right? Like, we even saw it in the... The museum, or the remains of it. Do you think there was ever, like, contention between Hermaeus Mora and Lord Dagon to try and wrestle that book away from Lord Dagon to get it? Because that seems like something Herma Mora would totally be interested in having, you know? Huh. There we go. Hey. Oh, fuck. Dude, I forgot about this. That it had, like, stretching shit? Holy hell, yeah, I had... I forgot about that completely. Wow. Okay, let's continue on up here. More of this. Catalog of Weapon Enchantments, we've definitely read that. More Fast Healing, Stone Flesh. History of Ravenrock, Poison Song 4. I'm still not sure about this Poison Song stuff. I'm fairly sure we read it, but I'm not 100%. Font of Stamina? Okay. Oh dear. Look at all this shit. Another pod. 16 Accords. Last King of the Aliens. We've read that as well. From Oblivion. Okay. Over here. If you have not played Oblivion. A lot of Aliad Ruins. No Dwemer Ruins in Cyrodiil, but Aliad ones. Okay. Anything over and around here? Well, there may be like one or two Dwemer runes somewhere in Cyrodiil. Right, but it is not the norm, I should say. Hmm. I guess we just have to touch that thing or whatever. Anything in here? Dwarves, Extreme Stam, Poison Song again. Fuck, we're carrying too much. What can I get rid of? Anything good. Let's get rid of this corundum. There you go, Hermamora. Prying orbs. Okay. Did something open up? Yeah, that did. Okay. So what happens when I touch this little unit? Let's do a quick save just in case something horrific occurs. Eh? 
Ah, that one. Okay, we'll go inside of this one first. Because I can easily remember the one blowing a bunch of shit out. Oh, this is like a treasure room. Okay. Nothing in the fonts. Vessel. Charis Pie, Dunmer of Skyrim. Poison Song 1 and 2. I guess we'll take it. Shit. Encumbered. Okay, what can I get rid of here? Reikling Spear or Reikling? This thing. Here we are. Don't need any of that. Okay. And then, over this way. Gosh, look at that. It is such a cool aesthetic. I don't know. I think it, Apocrypha might be my favorite looking of all the Planes of Oblivion that I've seen. I know there's several in ESO as well, and they have their own ESO interpretations of them, but I haven't seen, like, all of them there, certainly. Okay, chapter four. There we are. Good. Anything else of interest here? Oh yeah, there's some freaks coming out here. All right. Ooh, look, the banner is like glowing. Oh fuck. Oh gosh, I hope that isn't like super powerful like... Like the other shit that we're familiar with, like the blizzard storm. Good. Care you. Uh, fuck off. Great. Let's heal up a bit. Let's see, where are you at? Charging my blast. Did we kill it? I thought there was a third one. Yo, what the fuck? Ah, the Chronicles of Nuch Left. Or Nuchu Left. Also from Morrowind. Or at least that's where we read it. Oh, I should probably take the scroll, huh? It's quite valuable. Anything on you? Harmony, the Red Book of Riddles. Ooh, get ready to impress everybody with your knowledge of riddles. <laughs> Fuck. I like how, like, this this DLC is so fucking loaded to the brim with nostalgia that just seeing these books that appeared in the older games, they're giving me a fucking hit every time, baby. Every single time I see one that's name I recognize, oh my gosh, it's a shot of endorphins every fucking time. Also, remembering fucking Maribar Soul and calling that shit, oh! <laughs> now this one, I don't know about. A Pusculus Le May Bal. I don't know about that. We've definitely read Fae Folken and Thief of Virtue. Let's see, let's stash away. I guess we can get rid of some of this heavy food, right? In fact, maybe I'll just eat one. Sort by weight. Boar meat. Oh god, was it raw? Oh, I think it was. I think I can eat boar meat raw, though, because it, it probably... They probably didn't consider that. <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. I don't have, like... I'm not getting the shits in here, am I? Okay, it's fine, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's look around a bit. Oh, shit. Yeah, I didn't even notice the cool pattern on this. Yeah, what the... Um, what is this? What kind of language is this here? Is that Hermamora's own encoded language or whatever? Language of Apocrypha or whatever? Because it sure shit ain't Daedric. Which is kind of interesting, right? Is the idea that Hermamora is withholding information from other Daedra as well? Because that would totally fucking make sense, right? They're, it's it's more common that they're at odds with one another than, <laughs> than ever helping one another. Okay. Killing before you're killed. Yeah, I think we've... We've seen all this. Oh, look at the anticipations there. Funny. Okay. That would be all about the, uh... Well, I guess we... Yeah, we heard the dialogue earlier. All about the reclamations. Before they were named as such. Can I actually enter this? I don't think so. I think it's like instant death. Let me just check. Oh, no! It turns me piss color. Oh, gosh. Oh no, does that mean that there's like secret treasures around here in the piss water? Oh fuck. 
Should I be looking in piss? No. I refuse. Ooh. Okay. Let's go on over here. Ooh, look at this. Oh, does this shrink? Or does it... I don't know. Does something cool happen here? Which way should we go? Left or right? Let's go left. Oh, look, it closed off. Oh, shit. Oh, my eyeballs. Whee! So fucking cool. Fuck, I forgot about the moving tunnels and stuff. Shifting around like this. Uh-oh, there's a fucker coming after me. And it has such a cool look. With how symmetrical so much of it is. Fuck, it's awesome. Okay. Can I touch these little balls? No. I cannot. Is there anything else I can do here? How do I... How do I go? Maybe I cannot yet. Yeah, maybe I can't do it yet. Hmm. Go back this way? Oh, has it changed this way? It may have. Are we somewhere else now? I think we are. Yeah, we are. Wow, cool. Okay. Good. Oh, shit, this asshole. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, it actually kills you for real. <laughs> oh! Oh, I didn't die! Oh, wow! So what happens if I read the book again? Let's see. Eh? There we go. Will it put me back in, like, the same spot? Or Be should careful. I just... I should pro... It probably won't. I'll probably just have to quick load. If I want to get back there. Oh, no! Wait, where the fuck am I now? Wait, what? What? Oh yeah, this is the thing that like, expanded. I don't like that noise. Okay, yeah, let's just quick load, that way we're back in the same area. Cool that it doesn't kill you though. Okay. Over here. You know what would be even cooler if it didn't kill me because I am the champion of Hermamora. Right? Like if you don't if you aren't carrying around the Ogma, you do get killed. Alright. Let's take this. And let's go down these. We'll get these rolling. Fuck. Holy shit, it really does, like, fucking fuck with my eyeballs. I don't know about you, gentle viewer, but... Well, this one, not so much because there's that column it's, that's clipping through, but... <laughs> oh, still, such a cool effect. I don't even know how they managed it. Oh, look, here we go, it's shifting. We missed this last time. But yeah, I don't even know how they managed it in this engine. Like, what the fuck? It gets me all kinds of excited for, like, Starfield and the Creation Engine 2 or whatever, right? Like, what other kinds of cool shit can they pull off in that? Okay. Anything here? Nerevar, Moon and Star, Poison Song Book 2. I think we got Poison Song Book 2, don't we? Even if we have read it, I, I think we've... We've got it on us. Oh yeah, look, we've got multiple duplicates. Let's stow them. We've got one, two, three, four, and six. Okay. I'm pretty sure we read that in Oblivion, though. I think. I think it was Oblivion? Maybe not. But like I said, we'll hold on to it just in case. Firebolt. Oh look, these are all lootable scrolls. Okay. Let's see, should we dump anything else around here? Hmm. Wait. Should I get rid of this horker loaf? I'll munch on one. We should really be munching more on this heavyweight bullshit, right? Gnashing blades. 
Okay. Oop. What's happened this time? Can hear some like scratching. Ah, there we go. Cool. Did I look in this? I did not. Okay. We'll just drink that. Songs of Skyrim? I think this is a book about Skyrim that was in Morrowind, right? I think that's what that is. Let's see, I'm gonna eat some more of this shit. Why not? We've got plenty of salmon anyway. Really should have been eating that earlier on though. <laughs> right, to be frank. Anything else here? Oh shit, more bush. Ooh, hey, 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 hey. Whew, fuck. Okay, Magic from the Sky, Songs of the Return, Volume 24. Ooh, is that one that we need? Or did we read all of Songs of the Return? Fuck, I don't know anymore. We'll take it. There we go. Antecedents of Dwemer Law, Walking the World, Volume 11. I think we read all of Walking the World. Thirsk, a revised history. I think we have that on us, don't we? Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Over here. House of Troubles, Walking the World, 11. Life of Uriel Septim, House of Hope of Redoran, of the Redoran. The Charwitch, Coninge. Song of Pelinal, The Pig Children. Pig Children sounds cooler than it really is. <laughs> okay. Man, yeah, this uh, this is hitting different for me now, this DLC. Seeing all the books here, now that I've read so many of them throughout all of the games. <laughs> okay, like I said in a very early Morrowind Mondays, I was never the kind of person to to read through books and stuff, but now I've, I've become that person. Right? How wild. Hmm, what can I fucking get rid of? I'll just eat more food. There we go. Okay. Good. Who needs food when I can get books? Over here? Anything else of interest? What have we got? History of Ravenrock. With Magicka. I'll just drink this ultimate stamina. Waters of Oblivion. We've read that trap as well. Good. Okay. But yeah, it, it was in a very early Morrowind Mondays. I forget which one, but it was an extremely early one. A volume one of, of Morrowind Mondays as well. Where, like, I find a book and I'm like, oh, I, I say so, I don't remember exactly what I say, but I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm never gonna fucking read these. I don't know about you all, but psh, this shit, I don't even know. <laughs> wild how shit changes, huh? <laughs> that is fucking wild. Okay. Do they have, like, a weird duplication thing? Is that why it appeared to be two of them? Oh, we've read Souls Black and White as well. I think they have like a mirror image effect. Okay. Scroll of Mayhem. I guess we'll take it. Five songs of King Wolfheart. Myths of Sheogorath. Poison Song again. Horker Attack. Shadow Marks. Okay. Anything else here? I'm pretty sure they bring up Hermamora and Elder Scrolls, right? Like, the re a relation between the two of them. I forget exactly what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's brought up in this DLC. But, like, I, I can't remember if the Mysterium Xarxes is ever brought up, right? Because it never really even occurred to me that, like, yeah, the Mysterium Xarxes is, like, a super important book. But it's, weirdly enough, not tied to the Daedra who's all about books. Or knowledge, more specifically, but you know. Oh, there we go. That thing's wiggling down there. Okay. Good. Let's do a quick save just in case I, like, get obliterated by something. Jump over here. Good. Okay. What have we got around this area? Ooh. Okay. Goodness. So far we have yet to get, like, 
smacked by one of those. Oh, look at this. Oh, shit. Well, this looks important. Oh. Okay. Am I supposed to walk inside of this? Oh! A dude came out! Oh no, he's puking everywhere! <laughs> cool! Awesome! Alright. Can I walk in it though, for real? Oh no, I'm getting covered in piss. Okay. There we go. We'll knock ya. Ugh! Yeah! Good. Okay, let's heal up some more. Okay, good. See, we knew all the shit about Hermamora being like the Daedric Prince of Knowledge and like forbidden information and all that stuff. I didn't know like Hermamora was also like the Daedric Prince of like gross shit as well. <laughs> I thought that was more like, I don't know. Namira's realm of influence, or who's who's the other one, the pestilence one? Vermina? Or maybe I'm conflating it with someone else. Let's see, should we take these? Hell yeah. We'll leave this circlet though. Those things are heavy as shit. Okay. Over here. Good. Activate this little cool ball. Looks like something out of um <laughs> Half-Life 1 toward the end of the game. <laughs> right? I forget what that whole area is called now, but... Totally reminds me of whatever that place was called. <laughs> okay. Over this way... Oh, Spell Tom Conjure Seeker. Yo, I didn't know we could get these dudes! Fuck. Okay. Let's learn this. Hell yeah, I want to conjure a few of these. Okay. Mage Light. Frost Thrall. What's in here? Anything good? Ooh. Chitin Armor of Alteration. Neat. But not something that we need. The Atabala. I'm almost certain we have read this. I think in Oblivion. I'll take it though. We'll eat some shit. There we go. Let's see. What's heavy here? about these leg of goat roasts? Delightful. Okay. There's our weird unit. Okay, up here. Good, let's do another quick save just as well. Here, let's also get our Conjure Seeker shit going on, right? I knew that there was some new Conjure shit magic in here, but I forgot that you could like Conjure Seekers and stuff. Hey! Look at this cool dude! Oh, Cool, should I put my head in there? <laughs> okay, I can have two of them, right? Oh no, I can't! How come I can't have two? Oh, that's sad. Okay, well, what can you do? Anything else here of interest? I need to grab some of these. Why not? Oh, look, it's kind of... Weirdly colored, something is emanating. Chapter 5? Oh, I guess it goes up there. <gasps> okay. What's up here? I don't even remember anything about- Oh! Well, you're with us, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, are we at the- Oh, we're at the tippy top now. Okay, I see. Get- that thing, my minion, wherever you have appeared. Fuck, where have you appeared? Not anywhere around here. Yeah, it doesn't... <laughs> it doesn't have a great effect on them. I guess, you know, they can kind of float and hover. Let's see, what have you got? Anything good? Posting of the Hunt, Falmer, a study, Scroll of Blizzard. We'll take it to sell. Thankfully, they're like, flicking cannot knock me around. Thankfully. Okay, we'll get you. Good. Jeez. 
I don't know what this shit is doing to me, but it's really doing a lot. <laughs> okay. Ah. Oh. Nichinox, Fire and Faith. We have definitely read that in Morrowind. Okay. Cool. Oh shit, my Magicka reserves are running dry. Oh shit, what's this? Okay. Follow the Snow Prince Sovngarde, a re-examination. Have we read this? I'm not sure. Wild Elves, we've read that. Let's see, let's get rid of more food here. We'll just get rid of the boar meat. I'm going to keep the Ash Hopper leg though, if I can help it. Lycanthropic Legends of Skyrim. Fuck. Seems like one we should read. Okay, let's run over here. Get this asshole. Yep. Good. Hopefully we aren't meant to, like, return the books here or whatever. Hopefully that's not the implication of these, uh, units. Legendary Scourge, we've read that. I don't know if I can hold Scroll of Mayhem. Oh, I can. Okay. Cool. Alright. Quick save. Just in case. Yeah, nothing here. Hmm. Man, I'm thinking we're gonna have to replace our, like, on Apocrypha books. Fuck. Is this... Oh, the pedestal stands empty. What book would you like to place? Can we actually read these books? Or are these just for looking at? Let's see. On Apocrypha. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Boneless Limbs. Which I think corresponds to this imagery. Is there anything in here? Oh. Thankfully, it's quite... Yeah, it's like a, a poem or something. Boneless limbs, a writhing mass of heaped appendage. Slipping grasp, the squirming slick. Extend the reach to touch the face. Burn the mind, reveal the quick. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm terrified. This is cursed knowledge. Oh, it will drive me mad. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Boneless limbs. Because it's tentacles. Okay. Over here. Good. These are the pincers. Delving pincers. Crushing razors, hollow shells, that snap, that twitch, that cinch and rend, to hold the subject bodily, till mind blows soft and life meets end. <gasps> oh my gosh. There we go. Okay. Also, I'll say, typically... Typically Lovecraftian stuff really does not do it for me, right? Even more, like, even before I found out, like, H.P. Lovecraft was, like, a horrific racist. <laughs> even before that, it never really did anything for me. But, um, I don't know. This, this definitely does it. For, I think maybe when it's a little bit more further removed, like, when it's directly, like, oh, this is Cthulhu or whatever the fuck, then it's like, eh, okay. But if it's if it's somewhat removed like this or like the shit in Bloodborne, then it does it for me. It's all right. I like it. I don't know. Okay. Let's see over here. Gnashing blades. Looks like vampire. Bone extrusions gash and grind in moistened depths of smacking heat, while tearing flesh from a verse bone. The body whole prepares to eat. Yum yum. Okay, there we go. And what's this fun one over here? Have we checked these pods? I believe we have. Oh, yeah, we definitely have. <laughs> okay. Prying orbs. There we are. What takes the world enlightened sense can also seek the outward gleam. They rob the all of essence to report the nothing they have seen. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. Boom. And now something has appeared in the center. What could it be? I actually don't remember. <laughs> oh, chapter six. Oh, fuck. Okay. Wow. How far does this shit go? I thought this was the end for sure. Oh, 
I'm being whisked away through a load screen now. Holy shit, where am I now? I don't remember them being this long. Maybe it's this one specifically is like extra long. Flawless Garnet. Poison Song. The third door I'm pretty sure we've read. Let me check our Poison Songs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get seven. I think I called it eight earlier. Normally I'm typically pretty all right with the, what do you call them? Your Roman numerals. Okay, drink some of that. All right, anything else? Art of War magic. We'll take the greater soul gem. We'll have, we have to leave the rest, unfortunately. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. Okay, now we're definitely at the end of the line. Okay, good. Just a basic fucking baby? Okay. Sure. Here, let's get a different shout. That way we can actually make use of something here. How about, like... I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Fire breath is fun. Mark for death is efficient. Yeah, let's mark for death. It is efficient. Okay. Good. Ooh. Great. Gotcha. Okay, where is this other dude at? There you are. It's gonna smack me! <laughs> it smacked you! you. Okay. Good. Oh, we're out of gems, it seems. Ah, of course, everywhere. Angasta Cavada Cavacus. <laughs> okay. I bet a lot of people who've only played Skyrim and got to this DLC and saw that and were like, Oh, this must be specifically- This sounds so weird. It must be specifically about, uh, Apocrypha here in this game- in this DLC. <laughs> okay, oh shit. Oh god. Oh no. Oh god, what do I do? What do I do? I can't drink the Sujama. Let's see. Let's look for strength. Like we have a baby potion of strength. We'll drink it. Okay, good. Lovely. Have we got it all dealt with? Did we search this thing's bod? Let's check the knee. Unless there's soul gem. I'll take the ring. Good. I mean, I guess we could haul off the rest of it now that we have the potion ticking. Why not? Okay. What do we get from this? I don't even remember. Oh. Armor dragon aspect. Wow. Cool. Okay. Is there anything hidden behind here? No. Would be very clever. Very. <laughs> would be very Hermamora. <laughs> if that were the case. Okay. Cool. Neat. Thanks, by the way. Old Herma. Send this up just for me? <laughs> Did you do this for me? Come on, this is in dragon language too! Aw, you knew what I liked! You even put it in the, the like, format that I enjoy! Aw, <laughs> what, what a bud! <laughs> what a pal, what a guy! <laughs> I did this for you. Lyle Snub, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> That's how he laughs. <laughs> what a pervert. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> let's see here. Use our book. Waking Dreams. <gasps> the eyes once... Oh. You are unable to concentrate on what you're reading. Oh. How do I get out then? Oh, something is happening. Uh oh. What? Did something occur? 
Something shook. Something occurred. And I do not know what. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't remember what to do now. Well, I can't go back. My destiny must lie here. Uh-oh. I'm trapped here forever. You won this one, Hermamora. I thought you gave me a cool gift, but you actually fucked me completely. Okay. Maybe I need to read it now? Maybe I was, like, moving too fast or something? I need to read it here? Let's see. There we are. Huh? I'm unable to concentrate. Huh. I'm not a fan of that. Do I need to, like, use this? Unlock. I think I just wasted it. <laughs> I think that's what I did. Oh, dear. Oh, no. <laughs> How do I leave? No! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit. How do I leave? <gasps> Let me out of here, you asshole! What the fuck? I mean, I guess I can jump into a... a kill zone, or whatever. Right? Because it'll just whisk me out of here, won't it? Fuck it, let's quick save and find out. Huh? Geronimo! Eh? Look at me go. You can't continue fighting. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. There we go. Yeah. Would you lie to me, Hermamora? You said I could read the book and get out anytime I wanted. What a piece of shit. <laughs> All right. Cool. Great. Well, we had our entire adventure here inside this bedroom. Lovely, huh? Okay. I suppose when next we come back, we'll continue with more adventures here on on the wonderful island of Solstheim. If you'd like to stick around, we will, of course, be doing a little bit of reading, right? Let's see. Let's read the third part of the History of Raven... Or the second part, I should say, my bad. History of Ravenrock, Volume 2. Continuation from last time. If you'll excuse me first, I'm going to take a quick drink. All right, sorry about that. The History of Ravenrock, Volume 2, by Lirin Teleno. Forward. Ravenrock is one of the more interesting colonies of Morrowind of the last... Is this exactly the same, the forward? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. After two... After a few years... The relentless ash storms from the ever-erupting Red Mountain had transformed Solstheim's southern reaches into pure ash wastes, reminiscent of those present on Vardenfell itself. The storms would leave behind deep dunes of ash that made life exceedingly difficult in Ravenrock. In order to protect the town from these drifts, Brara Morvane proposed that the East Empire Company construct a large wall of her own design to protect the east end of town. The company quickly agreed and provided the necessary funds. Wait, but there were already... I guess maybe they got blown down and obliterated. Because when you found Ravenrock in Blood Moon, you do create, like, you know, your stereotypical fortification wall or whatever, right? Anyway, the company quickly agreed and provided the necessary funds. After almost a year, the construction was complete, and the huge edifice was named the Bulwark. The wall proved to be extremely effective and allowed, to, allowed work to continue unabated in the mines. In the fourth era, 16, when Solstheim was passed into the hands of the Dunmer people, the East Empire Company was forced to relinquish Ravenrock's control to House Redoran. The council quickly named Brara Morvane as counselor of their new town, 
and allowed her to rule Solstheim as she saw fit. As a result of this changing of the guard, almost the entire Imperial population left Ravenrock and returned to Cyrodiil. Brara continued to welcome the Dunmer that elected to settle on Solstheim. Some chose to stay in Ravenrock to work in the mines, and other took to more familiar territory and began a nomadic lifestyle in the Ash Wastes. The next few decades were the golden years for Ravenrock. Brara Morvain was keeping the peace. The mines were still producing large quantities of ebony, and the Dunmer that lived on the island were happy. After almost 50 years of prosperity, in the fourth era, 65, Brara Morvain finally succumbed to old age and passed away. She was interred in the family's ancestral tomb and took her son, and her son, Laurel Morvain, took her place. The people who had lived in Ravenrock during Brara's time as counselor were pleased to discover that Laurel shared his mother's notions of rulership. He was fair and compassionate, which kept the people of, on the island quite happy for many decades. Oh, well, that was quaint. That was very kind. That was a very nice little tale. Oh, well, I'm looking forward to volume three when everything goes to hell. <laughs> Great. <laughs> if anything, one of my favorite traits of, of the greater Dunmer lore or the themes of it is just how miserable things get. <laughs> I love the misery. Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>